I'm curious about your take on the immigration laws that are taking effect today, 1,200 miles south of you in Florida, your sense of how it's going to impact undocumented workers. Thank you, Secretary. Uh, I have to say that that law is evil. What MAGA Republicans are doing right now is using the immigrant population as a punching bag in order to earn political points. That's that's not right. We shouldn't be using the dehumanizing um, people and using the suffering of our of our community in order to earn political points. Here in Rhode Island, we recognize the importance of our immigrant population. Look at my story is, is a good example. Just coming here to this country, to the state, not speaking the language, being able to get an education and being able to be elected to office to serve my community. This is an example of what the immigrant population does in here in the United States. And we continue to open doors here in Rhode Island for our immigrant population. And despite all of those tremendous contributions that immigrants make today and that they have a legacy of making in our nation's history, both GOP candidates, Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis, if elected, say they will end birthright citizenship. What do you make uh, of their blatant promise to defy the 14th Amendment? Again, they're just using um, this as a way to gain political point. And this is why it's so important for us to have people in Congress that are going to fight those um, proposals that um, Donald Trump or DeSantis uh, come forward with. We have to make sure that we have people in Congress that are going to be fighting for immigrants, for immigrants' rights, and are going to be defending the right of every American, in especially being a strong, uh, a strong response to all this negative talking point that comes from DeSantis. And Lieutenant Governor, uh, this month, a law that your state passed last year takes effect, uh, and it allows undocumented residents to obtain driver's mm -hmm. licenses. Uh, what happens when states give undocumented people more opportunities mm -hmm. like Rhode Island has? Yeah, this is a law that it was a long fight, and finally it was approved last year. And now here in Rhode Island, undocumented uh, individuals are able to have a, a driver's permit. Um, what I have seen, even uh, when I was visiting the small businesses um, throughout the state of Rhode Island, is that they have a need for workers. And they, I have seen workers that were not able to get work because they were not able to um, drive to get to, to their um, places of work. So this law that is being in effect now in July is changing that. And it was a lot of people waiting for that change to happen. So here in Rhode Island, we're being proactive because we know that's the right thing. It's going to make sure that our roads are safer because those individuals are going to be able to uh, have permits, learn how to drive, and have insurance. So that makes our community safer. So uh, this is a great day for us here in Rhode Island.